Immigration Minister Andrew Giles is continuing to lurch from one mistake to the next, the latest blunder being that he falsely claimed that criminals released from detention were being monitored by drones. They weren't. Joining us live now, National Senator Matt Canavan out of Canberra. So that hole that the minister keeps on digging is only getting deeper, Matt. Yeah, well, it's uh, a bit unclear how he's going to get out of it now. I mean, it's really just a matter of time before Andrew Giles loses his job, in my view. And uh, the problem for our country is we actually need a migration minister that's uh, got the confidence of the country, it's got the confidence of the bureaucracy uh, and can do the job. Uh, and so we really have an absent-minded migration minister now. Uh, at a time we face threats to our country, at a time of geopolitical tension, uh, this needs to change. It needed to change yesterday, and the Prime Minister needs to take responsibility here. I mean, the worst thing about this latest blunder is the continuing attempt uh, from this minister to blame his own department for his own mistakes. Uh, I mean, the accountability's got to stop with the minister, and ultimately it's got to stop with the Prime Minister. And so questions have to be asked here about why the Prime Minister's not acting. He's clearly got no ministerial accountability in his own uh, cabinet, and it seems like he's protecting uh, apparently one of his own foot soldiers to, that protects his own position in Giles uh, over protecting the national security of this country. So according to the department, uh, when it comes to tracking these detainees, it wasn't drones, it was satellite imagery, apparently. Does that matter? Well, look, obviously, I don't know the ins and outs of what happens. Uh, what I say, I, what I believe is that, though, Andrew Giles should take responsibility here and not throw his own public servants under a bus. I mean, if that is true, if what you say is true, it sounds like probably the brief did say satellite imagery and, uh, and it was Andrew Giles who, who drew a connection to, to drones, potentially. So, but, look, who knows what happened here? Uh, as I say, though, the buck has always got to stop with the Minister and the Prime Minister. They need to take responsibility here and stop trying to blame others for their own mistakes. Just on this other story uh, that we're running today too, Matt, the government to expand the eligibility criteria for the ADF to boost recruitment. So they're looking at foreign citizens now from New Zealand, the US, UK, Canada, Pacific Islands as well. They can join the Australian Defence Force if they've been here for 12 months. What's your thoughts on that? No, I totally disagree with this. I don't understand why we need a mercenary army. We've got a proud history of not never having a conscript army, and uh, at least a conscript army is still served overseas. And so I, I don't think we should have a mercenary army either. Uh, that's what these people would be, effectively. They're just being paid to fill roles. And, uh, I mean, there's got to be other ways we can fill these gaps. Obviously, we have a huge recruitment issue. Uh, I think Andrew Hastie, uh, an esteemed former soldier himself, had a wonderful... Uh, column on this on the weekend about how we've got to reinstate a sense of duty and sacrifice to serve for mm. our armed forces. Uh, over the last generation, perhaps, our armed forces have tried to market themselves as an exciting career opportunity when you can enjoy, where you can enjoy the nightlife uh, while getting paid well. Yeah. And I don't think that attracts people well, to this type of discipline. Uh, so maybe the change in their marketing strategy would help first. I would That's have thought, I mean, I, and I know all, all the Defence Force personnel that I come across, they're all very proud to, to represent and fight for our nation. I mean, is that same level of pride going to be there for a foreign-born soldier when they're still attached to another country? Well, I don't think it, it it's clearly can't. I mean, it, it, as I say, this would be a mercenary army, though people who would be joining from other countries to serve in our Defence Force invariably will be doing it for the money. Yeah. Uh, and as you say, we want, I think, a soldiery who is doing it for their love, their passion, their, their pride of the country, their, their commitment to defend it, uh, and not just getting paid for services. That's okay. not the tradition of our Defence Forces, and I find this a remarkable suggestion from the government. OK, yep, the Minister coming up in the program a little later on to talk about that. Hey, Matt, good to see you. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon. We'll